Well, this is uh, one of our customers' cars. Uh, it's an 86 Jag XJ6 with the straight six. Um, complaining of transmission issues. Um, it's not shifting until it gets hot. Um, having trouble getting it in and out of gear. So basically check the fluid. There was no fluid in it. Put it up, you know, everything's coated in transmission fluid. So there was a couple of seals that were bad. Um, so basically drop the pan. Um, clean it out, replace the filters, replace all the seals, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'll top up the fluid while the engine's running, get it running up to temperature, and then uh, I'll test drive the car again and, and see what happens. And then at that point, you know, talk to the customer and then decide what he wants to do, but I'm fairly confident that this is going to solve the issue, and uh, automatic transmissions work better when there's fluid in them. If you want to take a look at this fluid, it's quite, quite muddy. And you get all sediment and stuff on the bottom of the pan. So that's what this filter's for. It cleans all that out. Everything will get cleaned up. It'll get a fresh gasket and a new fluid. Should run good as new. Basically, you have to just remove the old gasket material. It's an old dried up piece of cork. It's tedious when it gets dry like that because you just take one tiny chunk at a time. After you get the gasket off, you bring it in the parts washer. Get all the debris out. Fresh gasket, which is right here. You can see, this is much more pliable than, than this. It's absolutely gone. So, we're in the reassembly process. Um, you want to make sure you have a clean, dry surface. You know, in this particular case, we're using a cork gasket, so we're not putting any kind of uh, sealer on it or anything. So, all this stuff came off. You want it to be nice and clean. And I'm going to have my lovely assistant, Danielle, hold the pan up for me while I install the bolts. All right. Hold that right there. All right. Just keep light pressure upward. It's always much easier to do this with two people. Relax a little bit. So I'll catch all these bolts by hand. And uh, just snug them by hand at that point. I'll get my torque specification. I'll use a quarter inch drive torque wrench and torque these to uh, specified value. Always good to catch these old bolts all loose as you go around. Don't snug one up because you'll just compress the gasket in one spot. You won't be able to get the other ones in. All right, so basically the uh, torque spec is 72 inch pounds. So you use your quarter inch drive uh, torque wrench and uh, you want to work in a cross hatch pattern. You slowly work your way around. Basically just want to snug them. The idea is to get the pan as evenly seated as possible. Right when it feels like the torque wrench is going to click or on, you know, on the first uh, tighten, that's when you stop. And then as you go back around, we'll go ahead and, and get everything to click. Also, when you're torquing, you want to move in a steady motion. You get to a point and, you know, you're at the end of your swing and it doesn't click, and you go to get right back on it and it clicks, that's not a proper torque. You need to actually back it off and then restart your process. Now once you've gone around and done them all, you just do a quick once over and check everything. You can just go around in a circle at that point. You know, you've seated the gasket. All right, so basically, uh, everything's tightened up, buttoned up underneath. Uh, we're just in process of adding. It's bone dry, so you never start an automatic transmission while it's empty. Um, so I like to add three quarts, start it, and uh, you check automatic transmission fluid with the engine running and the car in park or neutral depending on, uh, depending on the vehicle. In this particular take, uh, case, you know, um, check it while it's idling in park. So I'm going to introduce three quarts and then start it up and we'll see what happens. the 
gears a few times, give the fluid a chance to work its way through the transmission. What I'll do now is check the fluid level, get it up to where it belongs, and then I'll test drive it. Allow it to get into its highest gears, get up to complete operating temperature. between the min and the max line. So I'm going to take it off the lift now and I'll take it around the block up on the highway, get it up to temperature. And then we'll bring it back in, check for leaks, and uh, top off the fluid. All right, so we did a transmission service on this car. It was not shifting at all before. Just taking it around the block to see if anything shifts, anything works. There we go, there's second gear. Now that there's some fluid in it, hopefully we can get some movement going on. Try and manually... Oh, there we go, there's third gear. Shifted. Probably will take a few cycles for it to smooth out. It's, transmission seems to have woken up. It's shifting fine. Up shifting, down shifting. You know, it's not really slamming anymore. Once the fluid's right where it belongs, the transmission should be fine, ready to go.